Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? How you doing? This is your boy, Kua Smile 4K Tech. Coming in with another video for y'all guys. Versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And this is a video that I know a whole bunch of people been wanting me to do. So I just want to do this video for y'all guys out there on YouTube and give you my thoughts in my honest opinion on two of the great phones of 2020. Now, we know the iPhone came out last year, uh, 2019, and you we know that this came out in 2020. So, what is the bit different from both of these devices? Well, a bit different is this got a better processor chip, and this also got a better processor chip, but, what is the main bit difference about these two devices in 2020? What what make this thing out more? And I gotta give you my honest opinion. And let me take the case off of this to do a real review of this. So I gotta be truthful that um, this could do more where Android could do a lot more that way you cannot do it. Apple and Apple is changing up what they do, man, through the fingerprint. And you can see that uh, you could customize Apple now like you could do with Android, but in not advanced like Android. Android is way advanced over Apple any day. So I feel like that the processor is not dragging versus the A13 uh, Abana chip on here. So, and like, yes, cameras wise is different for each one because this do R12, R4 do 12. This also do uh, a, I believe a 108 on in the middle, a 12 ultra wide, and a eight, um, eight something on here, I forgot the rest. But uh, like I said, I'm not being in spats, so please don't judge me. But uh, all that I can say is, like, I feel like the sound quality on both of them is really good. But I think this is more lighter and more crispy and real tight, really good beat bass over this one. That's just being honest. Camera-wise, both cameras are different. So you get a better front camera with this because this gives you a 12 versus 18 megapixel camera. And I don't know why Samsung reversed back to a 10 when on the um, on the other phone and they had the front camera on the Note 20. Uh, I think the Ultra S20 Ultra have a 48 or 45 megapixel front camera, and it was killing up everything. Like once that phone came out, the front camera was good. They had 108 megapixel camera, and like I think the back camera much better over this one because you get more details with 108 megapixel camera versus 12 megapixel camera. But it's not already about the camera sensor and about how the camera form and how well it is. But if you want to give a key of uh, like great camera, I'd give it to Samsung because it got the 108 megapixel camera. But in video wise, if you want to be truthful and honest with the smooth video, he deliver dramatic wings. Both of them deliver better wings, but I feel like the iPhone do that must must better over any other phone. iPhone are kings of videos. Sensor are kings in this play. Uh, Google Pixel uh, phones are kings of uh, safety pictures, but not best. But if you want to give the two kings uh, phones. Uh, with speaker, both of them will deliver it. Both of them will give you something that you 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 want inside. So when a person asks me what type of phones that I like to lose in 2020, in D2 phones plus my iPhone 11 right here. If you did not see the uh, Paramount iPhone 11 versus the 11 Pro, please Pro Max, please go back and watch that video of that. Um, I talk on really great things on these phones 
and I go for the high end phone to the budget devices. And I will tell you what is a really good device. And so you got her really nice, decent budget device, and you got her real good high end device. Not all high end devices is excellent. And trust me, I had some high end device that went straight down here, and I like got rid of it mighty fast. That's just being honest, that's just being truthful. And so, yes, the display is good on all the high end devices, but the performance have matched up with the display. The quality got to match up with the sound quality and picture quality and video quality. Those are the things I look. Another thing I look of like D2, a different from D2 is that I could explain uh, more stories on here. Cause this gives you 128 gig of stories option right here. And you could explain this to a terabyte or two terabyte with this. With this one right here, this gives you a solid decided 250 sets so you got three uh, stories on this device and let me give you a fact the base model is 64 you want to get the uh, 250 set it gotta cost more then if you want to get the 500 and track it gotta cost you a little more higher uh if you if you're in the apple sensor and that one thing by apple but with this like i feel like I didn't know which one higher because both of them is expensive. Both of them is expensive and both of them is too darn high. Uh, but the new series, this device, uh, I feel like this device delivered really good results in their stories. What I mean is you could lose three of really four or five different stories. What I mean is let me explain it to you. And then we gotta talk about Apple stories. Now, right here, you could get sensor stories or uh, day cloud for two terabyte. Then you got Android, Google, uh, Google Photos cloud. You can explain to how how long you want and pin. If you want to keep the original one or keep it unlimited. That's a real major, major, major goal right there. Then you got sensor uh, expanding stories plus the inner. So in S4 cloud that you get on here. With this one, you only get two clouds to uh, two. You get the attorney one, it's 256. And plus you get uh, Apple iCloud service that will cost 99.9. Plus Sensor got their own cloud service is for two terabyte is we didn't got more auction, better auction than this to be truthful. And Google definitely got their auction. Cause you could go straight to 10 terabyte using Google. And that, uh, and that being honest truthful so Google got a better option that over Apple do not have so 10 terabyte versus 2 terabyte I would choose 10 terabyte any day over this um, another thing that I want to appear is the sound quality so I gotta play the exact same sound and on my last video, I played it and I paused it because I don't want to be copyrights or saying anyone say I'm playing the full song or not. I got to give you a little seven that I always do and get you what I think you should know. What is the sound quality? So what we got to do, go to the new set right here. And right here, we got to go to new set right here. We got to play the same sound from the same artist. Okay, so let's start with the iPhone first. Then let's start, but main so I turn off Bluetooth. And we got like, see, can we play the same sound? Losing this. So both volume you gotta be up, be fair. Right here, you can see both volume is up. And I'll move this. You got a tendency to move. Okay, so let's play the same sound. Let's start with Apple. This with my cousin John Legend. Um, John Legend and Lee Cray.
Kiss the bass. Okay, right there. That place just right here, and that place just right here. So listen to this. Just loud. Way louder than this. Listen to the bass. This is a difference about each sound, and I gotta give you my honest opinion. And I don't want Samsung taking as an offense, but the iPhone got more deeper bass, way deeper bass over this device. It sound loud, it sound very loud, but the bass is not truly there. You got the high end listen versus this. You hear the bass? Both them got good bass. But you can feel the bass on on the Apple. And that one I could say that Apple have over um Samsung. They king uh bass, deliver bass, and they also king uh video camera any day. Both of them got good cameras. But I talking about that stable super stable mode. iPhone got it all the way. Both gonna take great pictures, great videos, and let get into cameras on him. Cause I want to treat it as a fair apartment. So let's do the regular uh, pictures. Let's take a picture of this. Wow, it's everywhere. And uh, take this out of the loop. Man, this like everywhere, so I can't take no picture right there. So they take what right here real fast. And this like everywhere. I know y'all can't see it, but in there. And so, so um, let's do the same thing with this. We just want to take one still shot to see how good the lighting is. But one thing I don't like is that with Apple, you have to constantly keep moving this, uh, moving this, if you want to take that nice demonic wings picture with this. Um, on Android, you don't have to worry about doing that. Once you uh, with Android, Android deliver in the camera apartment, like right here, this is a video right here. And on here, you can bring this a little bit bring this a little bit down and, and give you a better design like I don't know why but I feel like Samsung like give you a better one and another thing you can lock it as well let me do that again and like I don't know it's so hard like this is so tough sensitive right here so you can lock this in place could deliver a great picture uh, with this device and that is different from Apple that you're not getting uh, with Apple you can lock it on uh, with Android now can I lock it with a picture I don't think so because um, it may seem before I just my mouth let me see let me see can I lock this You could able to lose this right here. So, um, you can lock it, bring this down all the way. But, yeah, you can do the same thing. But I think Android got it a little much better that uh, went to lock it thing because you can lock everything more easy and more simple. But if you want to get down with the phones, I have to say that uh, in no tie, so both of them got the ups and downs. Both of them could give you good sound quality. Both of them could give you great picture quality, uh, still shot, everything. But 
Um, it doesn't matter how the phone go in pen, how you lose it. The battery life on Roden is really good. This gives me a better, better life over this. No disrespect, but that being truthful and honest. So, uh, this got a better high revolution versus this. This only gave you 1080p, not 1440p on this one. Both don't give you a center HDR mode. This give you Dolby Vision HDR. This give you HDR plus the new one. So that's a bit different from D2 devices. So you want to be truthful and honest, they will deliver it all. So stay tuned on the next video. Please subscribe on my channel. If you like it or you dislike it, let me know. And just follow me and subscribe. I will try bringing more contents. Soon or later, so hit me up. Peace.